welcome to my video of an auto trail KM584-1996. Took this particular model in part exchange on a 2005 model. They upgraded the last owner. The last owner was a retired police officer. He'd had it for four years. So everything was done by the book as you can imagine. I've got the engine running just to demonstrate that the fridge works on the 12 volts because that will only work on the engine running. So we'll switch off the engine now. Thought we show you the low mileage. 51,000 miles, all backed up and last serviced at 51,000 miles just a few hundred miles ago, a couple of months ago and a full service with ads and discs. Everything works. Someone has upgraded the manual windows to electric windows. Just one little quirk is the uh, the opposite way around. So the left hand one operates the right hand window and the right hand one operates the left hand window. I'm sure you'll just leave it at that. Or you could pay an electrician to disconnect this and swap the wires around or whatever. Uh, I do believe this has had extra mirrors on. I can only get the driver's mirror to work up and down. It doesn't work left to right and the uh, passenger electric mirror does not work at all. So just a few things to note. It is 18 years old. So I will tell you everything that works and doesn't work. And there's not much that doesn't work. You'll be happy to know. Everything's functional. It's got the 2.5 non-turbo engine. If any of experts out there, or if you Google it, the only two engines to have is the 1.9 turbo engine. The 1.9 is certainly not big enough, or the 2.5 non-turbo. The reason for that is 2.5 is plenty, and with it being the non-turbo, it'll just run forever. It's not overworked. But don't take my word for that. Speak to the experts, speak to the people in the know. I've been selling and supplying motorhomes for 20 years, and that's... Uh, a little bit of expert knowledge that I've come across. There you've got the upside bed. That cushion pulls forward. Last owners have uh, made the step bumblebee flavour. I'm sure the little ones will enjoy that. All the panels are solid. There's no Certainly no damp, I've done a full habitation tech check. All original panels. Lino floor. So you can leave it at that. You can go to a carpet shop for a hundred pounds and have any particular carpet fitted of your choice. What most people do is leave that like that and have some carpets embroidered around the sign. Then you've got the best of both worlds. You've got a bit of that warm carpet for the winter but you've also got easy way down liner. It's got a full awning for the side. Your swivel full armchair like it's been set in your living room. Same with the passenger seat. That's on a swivel as you can see there. Armrests to both seats. That makes up into a large double bed. You've got two seat belts there, as well as the two, so you've got four seat belts in total. That makes up into a large double bed. All the lights work, all the blinds operate as they should. There's no undue smells. All the panels nice and solid. No damp, no dirt. Beautiful condition. And that's why I'm happy to drive this personally to anywhere in the country, even Ireland. And I only ask for payments after you've seen it, seen that everything works, and had a test drive. One of those, another little fault, and this is like being pedantic. The rear right hob does not light on the self-igniter. 
that's where the later here comes involved. So as you'll see there, as you won't see there because I've switched the gas off, so I'll quick hurriedly go out another demonstration anyway. Of me switching the gas bottle on. It's got space for two kilogram, six kilogram bottles. There's one supplied and there's a space there for a spur. So now that the gas is on, let's see what happens. <laughs> Takes a bit to pump through. Oh, there we go. So as I say, the back left hand side works on the automatic lighter. So it's the front two. I just need holding down for a few seconds to catch and hold. Right, it's a bit tricky now with uh, the camera, so I'll just put the camera down. Light the back one. And I've just lit that manually with the gas lighter. So you've got three that work perfectly fine, and you just have a set of matches for a lighter on board just to work that. You could send that in for repair and get that looked at. It's just this lighter here that my finger's pointing to that just needs remedying. Again, I don't know whether it's a design or a fault. The grill also only works with a lighter, not on a self thing, but it's no big deal. There's my lighter, just put the camera down now. And as you can see, the grill working perfectly fine. The grill pan's like brand new. In fact, I would say that is new. Same condition of the hob. Coming down to the cooker. Same. We'll just put the camera down while we light it manually. You can just hear me there. So as I say, I'm just having to light it manually with the flame. But we've got beautiful blue flame there in the cooker. And again, all nice and clean. This will stand up to a fussy inspection. Got the carver heat in there for the gas hot water and we've also got the mains 240 we're plugged into mains at the moment now we've got the gas that works on mains as well as gas the gas the other fridge rather is a free weight a bit difficult to show you a bit of condensation there so it's very very difficult to ah, you can just see it light in there you just seen the, the gas light to work there so that gas is working fine take it from me that is ice cold and I do mean literally ice cold you can put your ice cream in there all the all important ice cubes for the cocktails, no problem there, nice and clean. Nice and clean solid cupboards. More space, perhaps put a cutlery in there. Again, all blinds work as they should, so just the 12 volt lighting. There's your leisure control panel. Cold water there. Pump, pump, there we go. Put the hot water on.
Port is unknown. I'm going to test it with the all important pepper pig thermometer, and as you can see, piping hot and getting hotter. That's pepper pig saying it's overheating. There we go. Lino to protect the floor. All nice, crack free. Toilets same condition. That's been sanitised. Nice solid walls. Cold water. Hot water. I don't think we need to get the pepper pig out again. Yeah, nice and hot. Same with the shower. fault this should have two mirrored glass sliders but unfortunately someone gammy handed or whatever has uh, broken that so I'm going to endeavor to get one of those two slider two slider mirrors and then we put the mirror on up over there and that staples into place and clicks into place like so with a full clean Shower curtain. We've got the carver heater. Again, fully working. Difficult to sh show working. It's just lit there. There you go. There's the flame. That's the table. That's for your aerial, and that's connected to a status amplifier. I've got a picture of the aerial on the roof, and you just spindle that round, push the aerial up, and move it to your best connection. There's the stand free, totally spotless, not a mark on it, stand free table, which is the best to have, so that means you can. Put it in any position here. I've just got these to for cleanliness and protect the floor. There's nothing to hide. So the free standing table goes there for a course. I'm sure you'll enjoy taking it outside with a couple of tables, with a couple of seats rather. That's what it's all about. Lights working. Fire extinguisher, fire blanket. As I say, the last owner was a retired police officer, so everything was done by the book. You can work on the auxiliary battery, the leisure battery, which is under the driver's seat, or on the mains power. We're plugged into the mains now. We'll switch the pump off. Now you've seen all that. More blinds, all the windows open, blinds come down and hold down as they should do. The all important wine cabinet. Wine holders to both sides, so four bottles of wine and room for ten glasses. Curtains all nice and clean. Again, no smells. Curtains for upstairs. And it's got the safety device so the kidneys don't fall out of bed in the night. We've even got an outside light. And there we have it. 
I'll do an outside video to follow shortly. But I'm sure that gives you the idea. Of a very nice condition, 1996 Auto Trail on a Peugeot chassis 2.5 non-turbo. Emerald T till next year. Has recently been serviced, had a recent timing belt and recent brakes, so just all ready to use. As I say, I'm that confident I'll deliver this anywhere in the country. I'll drive it there personally myself. And payment will only be asked for if you are happy after seeing all the interior appliances being demonstrated and having a test drive. If you're not happy for any reason, I'll drive it back. That's the way I work. You've seen my feedback on the eBay and you can see my other campers and motorhomes. Thanks for listening to this YouTube video.